marketplace is like different. Like everyone has the same feelings you do, understands like what you want to do. You come here, you want to play games. It's like you get one guy casual gamer, and the next thing you know, after two or three years, he became a casual, he became a competitive gamer. Uh, I started getting into the competitive scene at this arcade, a Family Fun Arcade. I think, you know, arcade scene, to me, it just represents competition in general. You know, I think it had it added a, an element of pressure that you won't find it like console gaming or, you know, just, just you know, casual gaming. Honestly, like, the competition just isn't the same anymore. You know, b before, back in the day, you can come on at any time and there was always somebody that was worth playing. You know, so I want to go because I want to get better at this game. Now it just seems like you need to call someone, make sure so there's a reason to go because the arcade scene is just so dead now. You know, when I play console games, it's, it's not the same. It, it, I can't, it doesn't represent anything close to what the arcades do. These days, there's people who stay at home all day and they just play by themselves and they get to a level where they think that they're ready to go to a tournament. You meet them at the tournament and it seems like everyone is just another person that's there. As opposed to before, when you go to an arcade, it was like as if everyone was there together. You knew these people because you saw them all the time and start referring to each other by your first name or your gamer handle and it created a sense of like family like even if you were at each other's throats even if all you wanted to do today was beat this guy or that guy you were still friends now with the way that console gaming is taking over and the fact that arcades are dying it's no longer forcing people who are into video games to actually interact and I think that that's going to actually play a negative role in people's lives in the long run. Um, the pressure was, you know, everyone had money, you know, you had, you had to pay money to play and unless you had infinite amount of quarters, you know, you knew that that was finite so you had to try your best to win because you didn't want to lose that quarter. It was almost like each game you were betting that quarter against the next person. It's, it's a sad thing to see them go, I mean, it's just, uh, they, they represent like a part of my heart. I feel like uh, I grew up in an arcade scene, you know, I started coming to them when I was 18, so as soon as I became an adult, that's what I was doing, like, you know, most of my day, wasting most of my money. This arcade was already on its way to death a few years back, in early 2007. In 2008, the newest version of Street Fighter 4 came, Street Fighter came out, Street Fighter 4, and this was the first place in the entire United States that got the game. And there was a line literally almost to the door. You would come at any, any day, it could be one in the morning and there was a line of people waiting to play and it um, lit a fire. You know, it really revived the community for a little bit. But as soon as that game came to console, as soon as it was out on PlayStation and Xbox, it was on its way to the gutter again. And I'm really grateful for this place. You know, a, lot, a lot of times I feel like I took it for granted. I always had a place to, to play. There was that sense of solidarity with a complete stranger. You go to FFA and there's two players there that love this game as much as you do. You don't know their name, but you both know this game. You both have something to bond over. Even if no words are spoken, there is a sense of connection with, by being in person with somebody. You know, sitting at home by yourself, yelling at your screen because you're losing to somebody online, it's not going to do the same thing. And I'm always going to be sad that that's no longer going to be available. I forever will love the arcade scene. I've always been, always been part of me. If people, and if arcade scenes die, other people will not know the feeling that we get when that's staying at home. Because you get, even though you met people online, but how will you ever meet them in real life? I mean, it's a really sad thing to see it. You know, it's um. It's, it's part of my culture, you know, it's part of, I feel like, what has defined me as a person and a, lar a large portion of my life was dedicated to this arcade. You know, it's, it's a sad thing to see him kind of dying. This arcade in particular is already confirmed will be closed by 2013.